Well, in another sign of just how strained health care systems are, primary care doctors are now delaying routine checkups to deal with this latest surge we're experiencing. They're trying to focus on the patients who need the care the most. I talked with a few doctors today about why this is needed. What we want to be able to do is try and decompress our emergency rooms and our med checks, leave those for the sickest of the sick. This week, Community Health is asking its primary care offices to free up more same-day appointments so they can take care of the record number of people who are falling ill. If your child doesn't need an immunization or things like that, we may ask you to wait uh, uh, till next month. This pediatric office in Fishers is rescheduling appointments six to eight weeks later. We're going to get everybody taken care of. It's just in the priority. While this isn't just affecting pediatric offices, the system says it's seeing an alarming rise in the amount of children contracting COVID-19, and numbers statewide are backing that up. Cases among kids have gone up considerably uh, with the Omicron variant kind of at play. The Regan Street Institute says this past December and so far this month, 407 children, 17 and under, have been hospitalized with COVID-19. Of those hospitalized children, only 16 were vaccinated. Vaccines are doing an excellent job at keeping kids out of the hospital in the same way that they're keeping adults out of the hospital. Dr. Kunzer at Community says this is just more fallout from the lack of space in hospitals and lack of staff. He said they need the community's help with masking, vaccinations, and social distancing to make it through this surge. You go out, you see the football games, you see outside, it appears life as usual. I can tell you our hospitals are being overrun, and this is through all the health systems. Now, community told me today that they have 400 staff in quarantine today, which is really just stressing the overall system even more. Both doctors we talked to asked that people get their vaccines and continue to wear a mask.